Okay, what's up guys? So in this video what I'm going to do is show you how to create a scene. So how easy it is to create scenes in Blender. You don't need to spend hours creating scenes with the right add-ons. We can create something really easily. So first thing you want to do is go edit, preferences, go here and type in landscape, enable this, cool, then hit save preferences, exit this, now go shift A, Mesh, Landscape, okay, click here, go to Presets, and then go to River, cool, and then what you can do is Random Seed, so zoom in, just find one that you like, so this one looks good, nice, okay, click on this, hit Shift, S, Scale, okay, and then scale it all the way up to something like that. Alright, got a camera, then click on your camera, go here, Y, bring it up, then zoom in, something like this, bring this up, nice, okay, this is just a base, we can always change it later, then what you want to do is click on the plane, go here, to shading, go here, hit new, then make this a bit smaller, shift A, Add a bump node, plug the normal to the normal, then go shift A, type Musgrave, and then plug the heights to the heights, go to your camera, and then roughness, bring it all the way down, the transmission, all the way up, okay, and then bring the scale like 150 okay don't worry we'll fix it to look better so you can bring strength down if you want something like that looks good got a layout okay and then what you want to do is go to z click on this and then just go shift d bring this back something like that and then oh i'll just rotate it Yes. Let's get it up. G. Something like that. S. Yes. Scale it down. G. Okay. You just want to make it look a bit better. So. Something like that. Z. You can do it again. So. Click on it. Shift D. Bring it all the way back. S. Yes. Scale it up. And then G, bring this one to the side. And R, G. Okay, just to make it look like there's a bit more landscape. Okay, now we want to add an HDRI. So go to shading. Go add a new world. Okay, and then you can download one that you want. I'm just going to use one of mine. So Shift A. Type in environment, plug the color into the color, hit open, and then I've got some saved here, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, then click on it and hit Control T to enable Node Wrangler if you don't have it enabled. Edit, preferences, type in Node, and enable Node Wrangler. Okay, this will allow us to be able to move our HDRI, as you can see. So I'm going 50, looks decent. Okay, and then, this is where the magic comes in. So, I've got Botanic, which is grass. But, um, yeah, if you don't have it, you can throw on a rock material or something, but I'm gonna use Botanic, glass, Boom. See how easy that is. Same here. Add. Boom. Same here. Add. Boom. Okay. Now let's have a look. Okay. Now the water looks a bit funny. So what you want to do is go Shift A. Add a light. Add a sunlight. 
see how much brighter that makes it looks a bit better and you change the water so click on the plane create a shading go to object bring the strings all the way down look how nice that looks so you can bring it up a touch if you want but it looks quite nice all the way down now let's have a look starting to look better let's just change this something like that looks better and then let's throw in a couple of trees so if you've got botanic you can go like this hit boom throws on a tree if you want you can add whatever you want then go to G, bring it back you can go back to Z, go Shift D, like this, Shift D, Shift D, D, we're just going to add a few trees, Shift D, play around with it and then just adjust these, so S, scale it up, same here, S, Play around with MG, bring this one here. S. S. Just play around with the scale. Boom. That looks decent. Let's move this one up. This one too. Okay, and then let's have a look. And you can just play around with your view. So if you want something like this, you can, so you can change your camera, control alt zero, and then you can shift it by shifting the X. And then one cool trick you can do is hit depth the field, then select an object to focus on, so that one. And you can change this to about 4.5 and then you can just find a spot that you like so you can see there this also looks good this looks nice same thing change the camera control alt zero boom and this gets that nice depth of field shift the x something like this also looks beautiful and then one last thing you can do is go shift a mesh cube s scale it up scale it up all the way so if i go here make sure that everything is inside the cube that you want so like the trees then go to shading hit new click on the principal bstf delete shift a volume principal volume plug into the volume bring this to like 0 0.1 go back here go back to camera then have a look then you just play around with how much volume you want so if i go here zero point zero one adds a little bit of volume you can go here so you can find something that you like just want a subtle bit of volume okay and this is obviously optional you can see it's add a bit of haze if i turn it off you get that so it's just personal preference but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe i'll be posting more videos like this so hopefully you enjoyed it and feel free to check out the add-ons not sponsored but you can see how cool they are so check them out and I'll see you in the next video.